I've never lost anybody that I care about. It's my best friend. Certainly an emotional time. Best friend and co-star Bam Margera opens up and breaks down after the death of Ryan Dunn. It's good to have you with us tonight. I'm Thomas Drayden. The daredevil, an MTV star who was killed in a crash in Chester County, certainly fresh in the minds of family and friends. The coroner's report is out and says Dunn and his passenger, Zachary Hartwell, died from the impact and resulting fire of the crash in West Goshen Township early yesterday morning. Police have done an accident reconstruction and say Dunn's Porsche might have been traveling as fast as 130 miles per hour. 130 when it jumped a guardrail, flew into a ravine, and burst into flames. Toxicology results won't be back for four to six weeks. Now, Dunn posted this picture on Twitter hours before his death. And now movie critic Roger Ebert is apologizing for what he said about it. Ebert tweeted, quote, friends don't let jackasses drink and drive. As you can imagine, it certainly upset Dunn's family and his friends, including Bam Margera. Ebert said in his Chicago Sun-Times blog today that his tweet wasn't intended as cruel, but he added that while it was probably too quick to tweet, he stood by his message. Our Chris O'Connell spoke with Margera tonight. I know the two were very close, Chris. They sure were. Fellow Jackass star Bam Margera was actually in Arizona, Thomas, when he got the call, he said shook his world, informing him that his best friend he considers his brother was killed in a fiery crash about a mile here from Westchester in West Goshen Township. Well, tonight, Margera went back to that crash site for the very first time. It was in a very emotional time for him. Right afterwards, he spoke only to us about his friend. <laughs> I've never lost anybody that I care about. <laughs> it's my best friend. <laughs> I was in Arizona when I heard, and I just remember we're, I was with some friends having the best time ever. And at 12.30, I just started punching out the windows of the rental van and ripping out the speakers. And I don't even know why. I wasn't mad at anything or anybody. And, and if it's 12.30 there, that means that it was exactly when he crashed. <laughs> He was the happiest person ever. <laughs> the smartest guy. He had so much talent. <laughs> and he had so many things going for him. <laughs> it was not right. It's not right. <laughs> How do you get through this? A lot of people have been worried about you. They can't. I can't. <laughs> Do you know how horrible it is being on an airplane for six hours, not being with everybody? <laughs> You're just stuck on an airplane. No one had any idea, brother. It was the worst phone call I've ever got in my life, waking up to that. <sighs> Margera clearly overwhelmed in that interview. He says everyone in the world knew Dunn as that guy with the crazy antics and stunts in the Jackass movie. Margera says he knew Dunn like no one else in the world, like his brother. He says he will never recover from a loss like this, Thomas. I certainly understand his pain. You think about your own friends, the one that, you know, the ones that you love and, and about losing them. I'm curious, are fans still coming out to the crash site, Chris? Yeah, perhaps even more today than yesterday. Fans are flocking there, putting down flowers. But one thing we saw in particular was this. People coming to the crash site, fans and non-fans, trying to gather, steal anything they could get their hands on, from broken headlights to parts of the engine block. Some people actually told me they're going to put some of this stuff on eBay and sell it. T-shirts and lighters and all kinds of things have already made their way on eBay. But at the crash site, you should have seen these people pilfering away whatever they could. I talked to a police officer. They said that is illegal. That is still an investigation scene. And these people should not be doing this. But they were taking away everything they could get their hands on. And frankly, it's a, I think it's a disgrace, Thomas. It really is. It's downright low. I mean, come on, people. Our Chris O'Connor reporting tonight is just sad. Chris, thank you.